Okay. Mr. Rafiq and Mr. Nabil, over to you. Terima kasih. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Thank you, uh, Prof. Fong. Uh, introduce us to lecturer UMS. Okay, Assalamualaikum. Selamat pagi semua. Terima kasih kerana uh, menghadiri dan meluangkan sedikit masa. Saya akan tunjukkan bagaimana uh, penggunaan Microsoft Teams. By the way, in, uh, by the way, uh, by the way uh, Mr. Yeah. Rafi, mm -hmm. we do have a uh, expatriate with us here. Uh, uh, so okay, okay. you probably use more English. Ah, uh, alright, alright, alright. Not that, yeah. not that. Okay. Thank you, thank you. All right. Uh, <clears throat> okay. Uh, today I will uh, demo uh, to use uh, Microsoft Teams in, uh, in a best practice way. So more on today, I will cover on the topic uh, how we want to create uh, class online, how we want to provide the link to our student, and I will show another way how we want to conduct a webinar, meeting, and meet now pitches in the Teams lah. Right. And before that, if you have any question through the demo, you can put your question uh, in the chat box. So my click, uh, Nabil will will answer your question. And otherwise, uh, we can wait until end of the session. We will have a Q&A yeah. and you can also unmute your mic and you can ask directly to me. Lah. All right. <clears throat> okay, just to let uh, all the lecturers uh, this session will be recorded. Uh, hopefully, you guys comfortable with the recording session because after this session, I will pass the video to Prof Fong and Prof Fong will share to guys. I will share, wait a moment, I will share my screen first. Okay, just want to practice. Uh, how to use the best practice uh, Microsoft team. Okay, can you put the thumbs up in the chat room? If you can see my share screen, I have an icon there, you can put the thumbs up. If you can see, all right, thank you. All right, okay, cool. Okay, and then I can guess, uh, all people can 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 know how to use the chat or but who the raise the hand there is another features actually you can go to the conversation and see the icon there there's the hand i will show uh, how to use the raise the hand function okay okay first thing first uh to from my side i think have a technical issue i need to turn off the camera because i need to focus on the screen but anyway, uh, you just, if you have any question, you can unmute and ask the question to, to me. Lah. Okay, I will turn off for, 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 for the moment. All right, okay, this is the interface how you want to access uh, Microsoft Team. Okay, first, how you want to access to this, you need to go to the office.com, okay, office, www.office.com, and then he will ask for the username and password i uh well, i know ums already have a license and then you can once you log in your email id and password you can see this interface all right this interface you will see and then you directly go to the microsoft teams directly go to the microsoft teams okay i will show you how you want to create the link directly like a challenge from prof prof fong eh? okay and then you will have option here you want go to the web or you can install but uh, today i will show the demo through the web okay just click the web okay this is interface that you will see for the first time if you access to the teams and how you want to create a link to provide your to your student you need go to the calendar first okay this is a calendar and then you can create go to the new meeting Okay, let's say you put the title here, uh, semester satu. Demo. All right, and then you can put anyone, any email. If you have a Gmail, it just uh, for formality. It's not formality. You just want to AI to create the link. You need to add, uh, add any email. If not, if you don't have a student email also, you can add any, any email. Okay. Let's say I put K 
Okay, let's say I put just the one and then I set the time. Say I will have a class on two and I will have a class around two hours. Okay, and then you can put the details. Uh, semester satu demo. One. And then you can put, you can send. Okay. Once you click a send, it will appear on your calendar. Okay. Teams, calendar, you will appear here. And then you double click. You will see, this is the link. Join Microsoft Teams meeting. Okay. You can right click. And you can copy, copy link and you provide to your student. Maybe you have a WhatsApp group with your student, you can provide inside there. And there, or you have a email, uh, maybe ketua class, you can provide to, to, to them. Yeah, you can provide the link and the student will uh, uh, spread the link to their friend. Okay, this is how you easily you want to create uh, teams without you need don't need to create a team. Okay, maybe some some of the uh, user that use uh, Microsoft Team for the first time, you think uh, this is how you, uh, the the way you want to create the online meeting. You need to create team first. You need add your student first, uh, and then after that. Baru is like you can create a online class. No, actually you can just click a create a link through calendar. Actually, right? You just go to the calendar and you choose uh, what time you want to do the class online class. Like I say the other way, and then you need to put one email. Actually, if you uh, fill uh, left it blank, it cannot generate the link. Okay, because it will detect no att attendees at at the time. And then uh, once you already add the email and then you soon send, you can have a link and then you can copy the link and provide to provide to the your student. Okay. So the student uh, without you create teams also you can have a class online class. Okay. Uh, after after that, I will show you the features in the Microsoft Teams online. Switch to your own. Okay, this is the interface that we see. Okay, this is uh, about your class, uh, about your team. You can uh, this one, but I don't focus because I I know uh most uh, our our topic today will focus on the uh, online class. So once you already click uh, this one, you can join the Teams meeting. Okay, see. Okay, actually, uh, once the student will uh, open the link, this is the option will appear here. Download the Windows app. I mean, uh, full features. You will get the full features of Microsoft Teams if uh, they download and install the apps into the PC, or continue with this browser. Browser means any browser. You can go go Chrome. You can go with Edge. You can go with Mozilla. So the Teams will open on the browser that you choose. Okay. After that, uh, if you already install the Teams, then you can choose this one. Okay. To be honest, there is a difference if they use from the browser and you use from the Teams app. Okay, if you use, uh, if you use a browser, there is a limitation. I think limitation some features. Okay, maybe you cannot share the screen, uh, desktop screen. But if you uh, use the Teams app, you will get the Full features of Microsoft Teams. Okay, there is a two uh, different access from browser and access from Teams. So, yeah, 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 yeah. Yep. Any question? Marshall, cool. 
Oh, I just can mute the. Alright. And then, uh, but today for the demo, I will show continue on this browser. Okay. Once you click, continue this browser. So you see, this is the interface once you have a uh, online class. Okay, you will see uh, these features. If you have, if you use from the laptop, you can turn on the camera. Okay, or you can turn off the camera. You can check uh, mute and unmute your mic. So this is how you want to share the file. Okay, if you open this one, you can share the PowerPoint or you can share desktop window. But this is a limitation. This is the limitation. Once you access, if you access from the browser, you can only share a window. It means the only the tab in here. But if you use from the application that you install to your laptop, you can share your screen. Let's say you add, you already have a two screen. You have a one laptop and extra monitor. Then you can have a, you can you can have a capability to share another screen. Then you can focus on that screen only. Okay, this is if you use the install, install to the PC. All right, okay. And then you want to click here on the more action. This is how you want to check the device setting here. Let's say you say uh, you cannot hear anything, you cannot see uh, camera. You want to check the camera, or you want to check your microphone and speaker. This is the way. How you want to access? You click to more action. You can go to show device settings all right so you can check which one the the system will detect okay and then if no we'll have a show meetings note you can take a note okay once you have text a note all the student let's say uh the student uh take a notes or uh, using these features then the notes will be shared to all people in this meeting yeah this is meeting notes all right then uh if you want to start the recording your class you can start this one start the recording once you click the recording it will start recording your session full session until you stop the recording okay how you want to let i will show you this is the features this one this is the the the, the teams that from my site it's not a demo account it's my current live account okay if you want to stop the recording this is the function okay but if you don't start the recording, it will appear to start the recording. Okay, later I will tell you where is the recording, recording will store. Right? And then you can also turn off the incoming video. Let's say you have uh, 100 people of student. Then some some student will have uh, suddenly turn on the camera. Uh, and then uh, you're afraid that, 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 that the background will uh, disturb the learning process then you can turn off the incoming video so the, stu uh, the student who come automatically it will turn off the video the student video okay and then you can focus on your on your uh, teaching okay and then in here you can see this is the sum of the function raise your hand okay this is the raise your hand so you can use the function let's say uh, you, have, you you say to your student uh, okay during my teaching if you have any question you can use the function raise your hand so you will see the notification okay how okay this is the notification okay so here i can see people who are raise their hand okay from here i can see patricia prof dr bisel liao chan rahmat and all i can see the people who raise their hand and then I can stop uh, from the teaching and ask, okay, you have any question with the, your, raise your hand. Uh, okay, then there, there's a, there is a function. Okay, because, uh, okay, you can see the number is keep increasing because the people, uh, the student keep raising the hand. Okay, this is the features. 
some 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 way you want to okay let's say you present something and then you see the notification also you can see at the below here also have a function the features raise the hand so you can easily notice the student uh, understand or not the uh, what what you are delivering about okay this is and then as a as a moderator you can lower than the hem yeah you have the function let's say okay <clears throat> so this is a function raise your hand okay and then the other is a show conversation okay show conversation okay anything you type here anything you type here uh or the student will uh type here it will stay it will stay on this meeting chat okay after let's say you already finish your class uh you already finish your class and then after two weeks you want to refer something in this chat in, in the class it will still here okay how you want to access this one you will have you go to the chat see automatically it will create one a group chat you can see semester one demo this is the name that i give when i want to create an online class okay semester one demo anything that you put here anything that you the student have a conversation here will remain here is not uh it, it will not be deleted or will be archived until you archive it or you delete it okay it will stay here so from the student side if anything something that you share in this chat uh something can they they can refer later if you share then the students still can assess after two weeks after one month after two months the students still can assess from here it will remain here okay and then let's say you have something you share some file uh, i mean it's not share it's not share during the presentation eh? this is share like this one okay i will make it clear let's say i share problem from my computer I... uh, let's say okay let's say just okay share the file Okay, you 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 already share the file to to the teams to to this learning on uh, learning class. Okay, the student easily can access from here. Okay, let's say the chat already uh banyak and then the files already going up. So this how you want to the student want to access the file, you can go the files. So you can access from here all the file that you share. Let's say you share uh about topic one uh chapter one e-learning book or whatever that you can you want to student to refer the student can get the file from here okay on this chat no need to create another teams yeah that you want to invite all the your student because once you create once you create uh i i just go back eh? once you create the online class scheduling this is called scheduling eh? once you schedule your class and then you provide the link to your student once they join the session and have a chat have a chat eh? it will remain here but let's say there is no chat there is no chat okay during your class no student ask the question no uh, you don't show any don't share any file so the chat will be not here okay it will not detect as a chat Okay, please, please, please take a note. Eh? If you want the group stay remain and the student can assess, you need to have a conversation to Teams create chat here. And then the chat will be remain. Okay, they still can have a conversation here and get the files what you share. Also, this is the meeting notes. Okay, this is the, what I say. Okay, in these features, we have a meeting note, right? show meeting notes so let, let's say uh, i put the notes uh put here i put notes 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 and then the student on this chat the meeting notes you see all the student can refer 
Okay, let's say you 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 can ask your student one of the student. Let's say you only have uh, around 20, 20 student example, and then you ask uh, someone. Let's say, uh, I give uh, give example. Okay, Fatima, you uh, you uh, you have a you have a to guys. You have a work to do. You need to collect some note so the others can refer. So the Fatima can open. Meeting notes, uh, write everything about notes, and we go to the chat. All the students that don't do the notes can refer. Okay, mm -hmm. this is the function uh, share. Okay, you can get uh, have a file here, sh uh, chat, file here, sorry, you can assess and meeting note. Okay, this is some of the function. Okay, and then from here also. After show conversation, okay. Now we go to the show participant. Okay, once you go to the show participant, you will see how many, how many uh student are attend your class. Okay, let's say I just bring this one. Okay, from this one. Okay. Okay, now I show participant. Now I can know. Uh, inside my session, around one hundred thirty-seven to be exact. Okay, to be exact. This is all the people who joined my session. Okay, and then the question, Rafi, I have a question. Can we get the attendance link? Yes, you can get the attendance list. How? Okay, you can go to this three dot button from me, from show participant, go to three dot button, and then you can download the attendance list. Okay, but to be reminded, the attendance list is available during the meeting during the meeting let's say let's say uh you already end the meeting and you want to retrieve back you cannot okay let's say we already uh, end end the session uh, end the session and then you want to retrieve back the attendance list you cannot attendance list you need to download during the session let's say uh your class finish at four maybe three Five, five, around five minutes before the class finish, you can download the attendance list, and then you will capture all the timings to when the student name. Okay, I mean, it will it will detect on the timing that student enter the class. Okay, let's say uh, I will show you. Okay, just uh, show the download the attendance list. Okay, let I show you the 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 file. It will appear in the Excel file. Okay, this is a function, and then you as a you as organizer, this one is my demo icon, eh? My demo icon, uh, using web browser. So, uh, but only have one invitation. I want to show some features here. Okay. In here, we also get you can mute all. You as organizer, you can mute all your participant because some maybe some some of the student. Uh, forgot to mute their mic and have a noise or whatever. You can mute all the participant. You can have a function here. So all 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 the participant, all the student, all the attendees will be mute automatically. Okay. And then some of the features is here together mode. This is one of the. Uh, Best features I can see together mode. Okay, let's say I will. Okay, I will turn on my camera first. Okay, and then some of the features also have a apply background effect. Okay, now like I see, you can see my background. It's not a green screen lah. Actually, it's a apply background effect. Okay, then you have some uh features in a background you can apply okay this is you can use you let's say you have a say you have a class you have a meeting on outside from your office you can use the features okay maybe you can add airport or whatever so you want to don't want to uh other but disturbed by your background you can use the features and one of the features that are really uh i think is uh, interesting features is a uh, together mode okay 
together mode. Okay, can you? Uh, uh, I want to. Uh, okay, can some of your turn on the camera? Uh, you can see how the together mode will be appear. All right. Okay. Cool. Cool. Okay. So once you use the function, this can up to 49, 49 participant. Okay. You can see this is like you can have a session. Uh, you can have like a virtual virtual classroom but uh, like a real real classroom but in virtual virtual lah. okay this is some features and then because let's say you ask your student to turn on the camera but there will be a different background okay there will be a different background right oh someone is dense huh? i want to join huh? <laughs> okay so, uh, because uh, if you the student, if the student turn on the background, they will see the many background that maybe you can disturb. But with the together mode, all the student, all the attendees that uh, turn on the camera will be in one background. Okay, you can see as you lecture, you have a session like in the lab or classroom. Okay, so this is some interesting features that have in Microsoft Teams actually. Okay, together mode. Okay. But to be informed later, we show you how you want to uh, turn on. You can just check, okay? But you, let's say you uh, miss this thing, you can refer the recording session after this, okay? This is together mode, okay? And one of the features in the Microsoft team also have a turn on live caption. Okay, let's say you have a meeting with uh, some language or other, so you can use this. Turn on live caption. Alright. Okay. Now I turn off the together mode. Ah. Okay. Bye bye. <laughs> okay. So this is some features uh, that interesting in Microsoft Team, I can say. Alright. So I already cover to the gallery uh, together mode. Uh, Call me a play background. I did turn on live caption. It will detect. Uh, let's say if you turn on this one, it will convert to the English language actually. But you can try if they have. Uh, let's say you have a with the uh, any language other than English, it will uh encrypt the caption. All right. Okay. So okay, this this is another way. All right, so this is how you want to create easily to create a class during without you invite your student into the teams. Okay, without you invite into the teams, you can create a online class from calendar from your calendar. Okay, from your calendar, then you can set the link. Okay, I just remember. Okay, once you already set the date, the time, and then you can uh, copy the link and provide to the student. Okay. Also, another way is another way is let's say you already use Teams. Okay. Teams. Uh, Okay, teams. Uh, how actually? Uh, how you want to use a team actually? Okay, but I just cover uh roughly on this surface uh, because uh, if we go deeper, it will take uh, a lot of time actually. <laughs> All right, but I will try. But if you have a question, you can ask and or mute your mic. Okay. And then uh, this is the teams that if you want to create the let's say. You as a lecturer, you have a student from semester one, you have a student from semester three, you have a student from semester four. So how you want to divide them? How you how you want to divide them? This is a use team. How you want to manage uh, see the progress of the Microsoft team? Okay, I just I just show. Eh? This is join or create a team. Create a team. Go to the class always. If you have a, if you have a, you want to create for your student, go always to the class. Okay, this is. But later, if uh, you guys want to have a full features, what Microsoft Teams can do, I can have. I can uh, discuss with Prof. Fong. Uh, then we can we can have another 
another session. Okay, always go to the class. Okay, let's say you give the class semester one. Okay. Next. Creating a team. Okay, let's say you 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 do uh this actually this one you can search by email. Okay, this one you can search by email or other I will show you how you want to invite your student into the group. Okay. Let's say you have a 50, 50, 50 student. You cannot remember all the email. So just create this one. Okay, once you already create, so this is semester one. You click this function. Click this function. Okay, get link to the team. Okay, you can copy this link, then you can provide to your student. Okay, let's say you have a semester one, you can provide, you, you have, uh, let's say you have a, uh, LMS, you can post something and then the student can refer to that. Okay, or you have a WhatsApp group. Okay, you can copy, you can copy, get link to the team, copy, and then once they get the link, they just click automatically. It will uh, invite to this team. All the students semester one, you can, you can, uh, in, uh, they automatically will be in this, in this team. Okay, in this team. Okay, and then from this one, you have a uh, full features actually. Eh? Later, uh, if you uh, another session, I can I, I can uh, uh, provide it. Eh? Okay, because in this session, we can we can have a class notebook for the student. We can assign the assignment to the student. We can give a grade to the student. Also, we can create a quiz from here to the student. Okay, you can see this is step that uh features for the teams for education okay because if you use teams for business you don't have these features but teams for education only have these features why i encourage you to you explore microsoft team because ums already get the license that i can say the license is quite good it's a moderate license eh? in education we have three level a1 a3 a5 Okay, now UMS, University of Malaysia Sabah, Sabah, have A3 license, eh, moderate, so you can get full features, fully, but because this one is, um, you already, uh, UMS already, it's not UMS, this is paid license actually, this is paid license, so you can have the features, uh, you don't have a limit, okay, whatever the Microsoft uh, update, to the A3 license, UMS will be take effect also. Okay. Okay. From here also, you can have a class. Or let's say you want to have a uh, ad hoc class. Okay. You know, uh, some students still active in here. Ask, asking question. And then you, you want to help them. You can have a function. Yeah, let me need to add someone. Okay. Uh, slow from my end okay but it's okay okay and then in this in this in this area okay let's say you already have uh you already have invite your student into the semester one okay then you want to have a ad hoc meeting ad hoc meetings mean uh you don't schedule eh? you don't schedule through calendar okay this is what i call 
from the calendar if you want to provide the link this is we call it a schedule okay but if you want to schedule you want just add a hot meeting you want to meet now this is the function okay you can see here meet just click here automatically automatically so the people uh the student that inside the teams okay let me uh using under the account eh? demo account i just want to show you Wait a minute. Okay, this is uh, my another demo account as a student. Okay, this web. Okay, need this one on the right. Okay, just I just show you how. Uh... Sorry. Hello. Any question? I think maybe just yes, can. Okay. Okay, this is a uh, two different account eh? but in my demo account on the right side on the right side this is uh, adele adele as a as a student okay on my left side this is kara kara as a lecturer okay once once you yes okay and then okay let's say you 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 uh, you want to have something hello we will meet now to this just let's say that. And then without we scheduling the calendar without we schedule calendar we just click here meet now then you go to me now eh? and then on the student side automatically it will show this one okay with the hello we will meet now to discuss and then student react all right and then you can click join okay so you can have a discuss okay Automatically, or uh, the student inside your semester one can see the notification, and then you can directly to have a meet now function. Okay, this is uh, one of the another way if you want to have a session. Okay, so we hang out. Okay, this is another way, and then from here you can see uh, we go to the calendar. I don't cover uh, today I don't cover this part eh? but if you get, have interest uh, interesting uh, on how want to explore Microsoft Teams uh, I can discuss with Prof Fong then we have, will have another session so I can cover details on the class notebook class notebook uh, you can have uh, each student the class uh, like a virtual handbook okay you can easily manage the student result or your record so to track the student record and then assignment from here we can provide the assignment to the student okay and then but today i don't cover it just roughly uh share uh what what is this about and then from the calendar from the calendar you can have you see this is new meeting and then if you click the drop down here You can see the live event okay if you click the live event what is the different live event and new meeting okay first new meeting you can have a two-way communication this means the presenter and the attendees can unmute the mic 
can ask the question. You can have a two-way communication. Okay. And then uh, meeting can hold up to 500 participants at one time. Okay. At one time. But on the live event, this is the best way if you have a webinar. Okay. Webinar. Let's say uh, you have a webinar, then you want to create a live event. You only have one-way communication. Only the presenter can present. The attendees cannot unmute the mic and ask the question. Cannot because the live event is a one-way communication. Okay. And then the live event can hold up to 10,000, up to 20,000 per pack per time okay per event this is different once the uh, if you create the left uh, left event yeah you can uh, you can have up to 10,000 to 20,000 packs but only presenter okay only presenter can can uh, deliver the, the content uh, the attendees cannot ask the question can ask question but you cannot unmute the mic through chat box only okay through the chat box okay let's say test demo i invite presenter adele okay that mean adele adele can present can unmute the mic and present the during the live event okay and then i go next then yeah, you can schedule Let's say you uh, let's say you want to open to public. That means outside you want to have a webinar and then you target attendees uh, outside the UMS. You can go to the public. Okay, go to the public. And then also you can have uh, this one. Q&A you need to tick. Okay, once you tick Q&A, the attendees can ask the question through the chat box. And then you can refer uh you can you can refer and i mean the attendees can ask through the chat box and you as a presenter or a producer can reply okay this is the the different uh, during a live event and the meeting okay so just close okay in the teams, you, that mean you have a two way to create uh, to have an online class. First, you can directly schedule from your calendar and provide a link to the student. Other other way, you need create to the teams. You invite the student. Okay, get link to the team. Get link to the team. You provide to the student. The student already inside here. You can share anything, and then you can meet now here. There is two way to have a class. Okay. Okay, I think this is uh, only the details on the online class. I mean, meeting speeches only. Okay. And then, uh, one of the best features uh, in, in, in Microsoft Teams, okay, cloud, that means you can have a co-authoring. Okay, how you want to see the co-authoring? Let's say, I provide a... From my market, let's start the MF Okay, this is testing file. So I share. Okay, once you add a Teams, if you want to open Microsoft Word. Excel PowerPoint, you don't need to turn turn off the teams. You can just open inside the teams itself. Okay, like this one. Okay, you can see this is inside Microsoft Teams. Without we close Microsoft Teams, we still can edit the file inside Microsoft Teams. Okay, and then the features here. 
Okay, you can see on the right side, this is student. Okay, let's say I give a, I give mission. Uh, Update the details. Okay, you want to get the data. Then the student here, Adele, can open. Also, the lecturer can open the file and they can see each other update in real time. Okay, say this one. Okay. Name. Eh, you can see the the effect uh, on the lecturer side. Now I write I write as a student. Okay, name. The okay. semester one. Okay, this is uh, one of the big pictures in the Microsoft Teams. That means you can have a co-authoring file. Okay, let's say you upload PowerPoint to have a brainstorming. You want to student contribute to the presentation. You can share one file in PowerPoint and then they can easily uh, edit the PowerPoint and then you can monitor. Okay, you can also have a, let's say this one, Adele, only one to the page. But let's say you have a 10 student, they will show 10 icon in here and then 10 cursor. All right. This is on the baby cell. Okay. What is, the then, what is the maximum number of people who can uh, go to any one time? Okay. Uh, if you want to ask a real time, the real time I did up to 10 people. I mean 10 people, but uh, maximum number can edit at one file. 90. 90 packs. One time. 90, but you cannot see i mean if uh, you it will be have a, a bit delay to update on your site lah if uh, all the 90 90 person edit at one one time okay and then okay one feature for us before i forgot is uh attend the list says function and then okay where Let's say you already have a, uh, you record the session, right? Okay, and then you, uh, okay, like this one, you already record the session and then you stop recording. Huh? Once you stop recording, it will generate and then it will appear like this one. I will show you. Okay, let's say this one. Uh, once ready, once ready, you got the notification like this one, okay? This one, you got the notification inside the chat. Here we'll get the notification. Okay. Uh, semester one demo, it will have a notification. Where it will store? Okay. Where it will store? You go back to the office.com. www.office.com. Okay. This one, office.com. You go to Microsoft Stream. Okay. Uh, from Teams, all apps stream. Okay, go to the all apps. You go to stream. All the video that you record, it will store in here. Okay, you can go to my content and video. Okay, this is the content. Okay. Yeah. Everything that you record will be stored in here. Stream, my content, video. Okay, what is stream? Stream is a... Uh, Microsoft create stream for to store the video recording. Okay, what I can say is like a YouTube. Okay, you also can create the channel here. Okay, create. You can upload the video, group, a channel. Okay, this is the... All I can say is a, like a YouTube lah. Like YouTube. What the different YouTube and stream? YouTube you get paid. <laughs> okay. Microsoft stream. No. Nobody want to pay. Okay. But uh, once you have a video here, you can. Okay. From here, you can share. 
Okay, you can copy this file. Okay, or you can embed this file. Okay, let's say. Uh, okay, you can copy and then you can share. Or you can download your file. Okay, you can download the video. Let's say you want to put... Uh, you want to download and then you want to share in the LMS. You can use that or you can embed. Okay. Okay. Mm. Update video details. Okay. And then from Microsoft team, let's say you already create, uh, let's say, uh, I just give example, if the lecturer have their recording session, not without, not using a Microsoft team, they say they have their own camera and then they upload to, they upload to, uh, they upload to Microsoft stream. Okay. You can upload the, the, the video that you record, let's say you talk about topic one, topic two, and then you upload to the Microsoft stream. And then from Microsoft Teams, you can have a, you can uh, share the video. Okay. Oh, okay. Let's say this one, I go to semester one. This one, I go to the add tab. And then I go to stream. Okay. I post a video. Let's say this one. Okay. Okay. So let's say this is for the topic one. I just give example. Okay. Uh, you can you can post. Okay. I already upload the video to the stream tab. Can okay. you can refer for the topic one? Okay. And then from the student side, from the student side, you can go to teams. Mister one. This is student, eh? Adele, you can go, you can refer. No need to go to Teams, okay? You just can play the video inside the team itself. Okay. You see some of the features. Okay, I think. Uh... In Rafi. Yep. Yep. This is a very important uh, place for lecturers. Mm -hmm. What is the maximum uh, capacity uh, allowed? Maximum capacity allowed. Uh, in... For lecturers to in... upload their video. In, in stream? Yes, in stream. In stream... Hello, uh, Prof. Okay, uh, regarding the question about the limitation to upload the video in stream, right? Yes. Okay, uh, for each user, okay, the user can upload up to 5,000 uh, videos inside the Microsoft stream. And then for each of the five video that, that the person want to upload is 50 gigabyte. I think I can yes. share you the, yep. Okay, good, good, good. Yes. I will, I will share you the documentation for your reference okay, in the meeting chat. Yes, yes. Okay. And is it Rafi, uh, yep. let's say it is a two hours kuliah session recording. Mm -hmm. By the time uh, you save it, uh, it is uh, compressed to become how many, uh, how, how big uh, the size? The how size, many? Uh, okay, yep. let me check from my end. Uh. <clears throat> Okay. Two hours lecture. Two hours lecture. Okay. Or one hour. Okay.
Okay. One hour uh, in my record. One hour I. One hour recording only. Uh, hundred, hundred thirty six megabyte. Just wonderful, wonderful. Yes, thank you. All right. So I think, Mr. Profong, uh, today this is only the cover session already covered. I think, on the, uh, uh, you probably uh, can also show us your whiteboard. A whiteboard, all right. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh, okay. Okay, I wish this one, Simon. Oh, no. Okay. So join this. Okay, how you want to share your whiteboard? Have a features here. Share. Again, you can have loading a whiteboard. So you can. Uh, have a option here i mean you can only you can edit or you want to collaborate or by but everyone can edit and then you can add the student okay student to have a uh, can collaborate on the whiteboard also okay let's say to see anyone oh okay let's say uh, rectangle this one okay but if you use, uh, let's say you your uh, the, the lecturer are using Surface or something uh, laptop that have have a pen function, that will be wonderful lah to have a scratchion. Mm. Okay, <laughs> then this is uh, this is if I, the the way you want to share the whiteboard. Mm -hmm. Then you can, you can share the screen. So this is way. But if the student uh, join the session, it will appear also like uh, also appear on the student side or the whiteboard also. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, let me try to use on the real. I will uh, stop sharing my screen. I will try to share the whiteboard with you guys. Uh. Mm Can you guys see the whiteboard that I share? Blue. Blue. Huh? Takes time. Is whiteboarding in progress? Oh, okay. 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 Once the already show, just let me know before I just uh, can read the question. While waiting, uh, in general, mm -hmm. so let's say uh, that uh, the lecturer is uh, giving a lecture in real time, and then uh, suddenly we tell the students, uh, okay, mm -hmm. uh, I bring you up into a few groups. And please go into your respective uh, groups uh, for five minutes and then come back uh, with certain solution. Okay. Mm. So something called breakout room. Ada tak sini? Breakout group ada. Ada. 
let me show you it's loading and let me read this The whiteboarding is still in progress. Is mm -hmm. it because, why, why is it because because of what? It's a differ, it refer to the uh, network actually. Uh -huh. Because they want to share. Mm. In Chivafi, mine says something went wrong. Something token went wrong. Eh? Error. Yeah. Token. Token. Ah, token redeem error. What does it mean? Yeah? Go to whiteboard help. Oh, okay. I think uh maybe there's because uh, I'm missing a tab. Actually, no. Because maybe uh that one is um uh, can be the at the back end you want to update or something for the whiteboard. Hmm. Okay. Because actually whiteboard is a uh, apps in the Microsoft uh Microsoft three six five uh another application is a whiteboard. Then you can integrate in Teams. So maybe there was there is an update uh on the back end. Bukan later, pasal tap lah. Bukan pasal tak, guna tap. Tap. Tap means uh tap that tablet, yang ada uh. Uh, tablet yang ada pen. You boleh contoh contoh ya. Ah ah ah. Huawei. No no. Patutnya boleh. Hmm. Tak ada masalah. Boleh. Jap ya. Tengok ya. Mana nak mana nak pergi tengok update lah. Biasanya, ah, kita tak nampak kat sini. Biasa bila dia update tu, uh, dia akan bila kita restart Teams tu baru dia akan uh, fully yes, yes. fully update. Okay, lah. I'll do that later. Tak apa, I'll do that after the session. Tak apa, thank you. Alright. Okay. So probably the whiteboarding we can uh, biarkan yes. dulu. Because uh, there might be a super in, uh, updating a progress going on there. Eh? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, so, maybe you have to look at something called breakup room. Okay. Kalau boleh. Okay, okay. Yeah, wait, wait. Need to, uh, wait, wait. Okay, wait. Oh. Okay. 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 Sorry, sorry, I just click wrong button. <laughs> <laughs> okay, then. Okay, one, two, screen, two, screen. Okay. Let's say how you want to break up uh, a class classroom and okay you go to let's say you already invite your switch viewer okay. okay let's say you already invite the student this one eh? let's say example all the student inside this one uh, all the semester one then you want to create a create a, a group for each student so let's say inside this semester one have around 20 student okay and then i just can this one add the channel okay let's say i put group one okay adding channel then add channel see Group two. Okay, let's say you. Are, okay, let's say you uh, already a few group, and then how you want to uh, have a session? 
Actually, this one uh, I need to add. I need to add. Yeah, you just need to add some student. And add, need to add a uh, student. Adele, uh, Alex. Okay, Alex. Close. Okay, let's say I just meet here one group. Okay, let's say you create a meet now in this group. Okay. Then set the teams. Uh, during the group two is running. I can go to group one. And meet now. So you can see this uh, function. Okay. You as a lecturer have a, a choice which group you want to uh, inside. Okay, let's say this this is group one. Okay, this is group one, and then you want to go to group two. You can just go to group two, and then on the group one you will be on hold. Okay. Then if you have a three group, four group, you can it will appear in the option here. Clear, yeah, profound. Very good. This is a very useful feature for us. Very good. Thank so you, you can. Uh, this is a uh, like a break, break, breakout group. Uh, so yeah. you can manage your student each group. This is wonderful. This is wonderful. Mm. Yes. Yeah. So I think uh, we already come to eleven uh, eighteen already. So uh, maybe we can just open to one or two questions. If there's anybody who wants to raise your hand. Uh, where you must okay. ask a question, please ask now. You might be stopping very soon. Okay. Anyone like to raise your hand? Please proceed. Unmute your mic. Mm. Can we alternate or any? Okay, Liao Chung Fan. Can we an annotate on any shared document? Yes, you can. Uh, but uh, you need. Uh, let's say you have a tab that can support to alternate the file, you can. Otherwise, you need to uh, install the plugin. Uh. Let's say in words or PowerPoints, you can still alternate any shared file. You can open Microsoft Teams using same ID, multiple device, same pertaining, right? Yes, can. Can Microsoft Teams replace Smart, Smart UMS? Is thing, uh, this is uh, LMS, right? Smart UMS. Uh, Profong? Is it correct? Smart UMS is a LMS? Yes, it is our learning management system. Ah, uh, okay. Purposes. You, uh, we come here, it's not, you cannot, you just cannot, uh, re replace, I cannot say replace, but actually, uh, if uh, we have a deeper conversation on the technical side, the LMS can integrate in, into the Microsoft Teams, okay, without no cost. But that one is depend on the, on the UMS IT side. How they want to 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 do on that part lah, but from my side I can uh, provide the guidance actually, okay? How to integrate the model to Teams, and then uh, once you once you already have integrate, so once you access the Teams, you can also access the LMS. You can have what uh, what are the details on the LMS already can have in Teams once integrate.
Okay. Any other question? Any question? DJ Rafi. Yep. Uh, yep. All, all the chat uh, uh, that's going on and all the questions that have been given and also Mr. Nabil have been answering them. Uh, mm -hmm. All those are archived and are they available to all the participants? Uh, sorry, not clear. All the chat that's going on, all the soccer uh, line, all the questions and answers given by Mr. Nabil, mm -hmm. are these being archived somewhere and can it be made available to you all? Can, you, you can go back. Uh, you can... You can uh, on your chat on your chat you can still can access to this to this chat actually. Okay, mm -hmm. so this link is still uh, active. Yep. Mm -hmm. Correct. That's wonderful. This is wonderful feature. Mm. Yeah, for us because uh, which means also that you know uh, some of the questions that we throw in. Uh, you can answer at other time, and at other time, we can also assess it. Yep. Correct. This is very important for us because when we give our lecture within one hour, some questions given, too many questions given, we may need our time to answer, and then later on, students access it. Mm -hmm. Can it be done? Yes, can, can, can. Because you still can refer to the chat, 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 one, chat box. Okay, this is very important. Yes. Uh, is most is Microsoft Team as easy or smooth to use as a Google suit? Um, I can say it's easy or smooth, but what I can say, yes, at first, if you use a Microsoft Team, there will be a hiccup because you do not familiar with uh, how you want to use Team, uh, what is the features inside the Teams. But hopefully, uh, I can set a bit profound. I will go details on how about we go through the details on the Microsoft Teams, like uh, about the assignment, grade, and the others. Eh? Because I think all the technology, if you want to move, yeah, it will. The the the, uh, the common question is easy easy to use. But for me, as long as you uh, keep on using and keep on uh, explore what have the features, because what I, what I, uh, what I can see is because. You, you guys, you are, I mean, UMS already have a paid license, eh? but if you don't use it, it's a bombazi. Eh? <laughs> very, very in the between the between. Kim, can, we can login. Yes, we can. Can we student? Can we ask the student to go to the group themselves? Ah, uh, but we need to provide the link. Okay, as I shared to you, you can refer after this, you can refer back the recording session, how to uh, copy, uh, provide the link. Okay, once you provide the links, and then once the student click, then it will automatically will be invited to the group. Yes. Okay, and that's a customer service and for by chat for team. Uh, and there is customer service or technical support by chat. You can, if you have a question, you still can have uh, in the chat. So once I have a time with Nabil, I will, uh, uh, I will answer the question. Eh? Otherwise, you can ask uh, Pegawai IT UMS, Mr. Suprento, because I think I already provide the uh, training to them. Uh, okay. Students should be trained to use the software as well. Uh, I already discussed with the uh, Mr. Uh, Prof Fong. So later I try to find what we call uh, is like a uh, material that a student can refer. So you can blast to your student how to use. Uh, yes, hard copy. Ah, uh, can can can. Later uh, I will try to provide. Provide the high copy uh, manual how to use the Microsoft Teams. Sorry, can we ask the M to go? The M? What is the M? To go to the breakout room themselves. The student, okay. Uh, can once you create, uh, uh, is a. Uh, Depends. Okay, let's say you already create group one, group two, group 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 three in your teams. The student have a choice. Uh, which group they want to you join? Then you can have a like maybe you can post something. Okay, Aisha group one, Fatima group B, so they can go inside the group 
itself channel. Hmm. Any question? Maybe I open the question around about five minutes more. Aisha Abu Bakar, can this seminar be saved in our Teams account? Teams account, what is uh, be safe? I mean, you mean the recording session? Eh? Recording session, I will share with the profile and profile will share with you guys, I think. Mm -hmm. Okay, is it Rafi? Yep. yep. Yeah, I for the past five minutes I got dropped off. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I just came in. Yeah, yes, yes. Uh, I can see your name. Okay, mm -hmm. so my office people also, uh, they were also dropped off just now. Oh, oh, maybe the yeah. internet connection because okay. Okay. Uh, Microsoft Teams it depends on your network actually. Okay. okay, you okay. can you can you can have planning. Okay, let's say you know you don't have a, a quite good internet. Okay, but you have a class online. What you can do, you can ask. Uh, you can turn off the camera because the bandwidth okay. will not cover for the video. We will uh, focus okay. on the audio and the details. Uh, okay. So, uh, is it Rafi? We are going to end yep. the session. Yep. Is it okay for you? Yeah, okay, okay. Okay, so uh, the recording will be made available to all of us. Mm -hmm. And if there's any other resources that you think can be shared to all the participants, all the academic staff of UMS, please share to us so that uh, everyone can be updated and uh, can be familiar with, the, with this uh, Microsoft team. Yep, yep. Really? Yeah. Can you uh, put a blur feature behind your background? It's very yes. important for lecturers. Just put blur and see. <laughs> blur. Blur your backdrop. This one. Yeah. So I think, uh, ladies and gentlemen, this is also a very important feature because, uh, especially when uh, these days, remotely, and our students, uh, we ourselves at home, uh, the backdrop, you know, can be very uh, noisy, <laughs> can be disturbing. So. The, the backdrop uh, features are really useful. Okay, nice. so I think, uh, okay, so any last word you'd like to say in Rafi? Okay, uh, well, from me, I think, uh, very thank you to all the lecture UMS because you have initiated uh, to use a Microsoft team. I'm very, very uh, happily to have uh, you UMS to provide a uh, training. Okay, because it's not that uh, I work for Microsoft. It's actually like you already have a paid license, and then uh, it's uh, okay you fully utilize the usage. Okay, yes. if you have uh, fully utilized the usage, and then you can see how uh, it can be a good, a good way. Now I can say Microsoft target all the student education is coming from a work from home, and then. Actually, uh, I'm in profound uh, planning to have this annotation that we that time we will cover for the other product, other application. So if you free, please, please join the session because they will be share what is the best features in Microsoft Tiga Enam Lima Three Six Five. Okay, so that one. Uh, thank you, thank you for your time. Thank you because. Uh, and uh, hopefully we can meet again for another session. Okay. Ijen Rafi Ashraf and uh, Mr. Nabil, terima kasih banyak banyak. Right. Okay, sama sama. And uh, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, on the twenty eighth of uh, September at uh, three p.m., uh, Ijen Rafi will also be with us again, and as a master trainer for Microsoft Office three six five, uh, he will spend about one and a half hours to upgrade us uh, from the PowerPoint that we normally use, our, our Microsoft Office, you know, our Word, our Excel. Uh, he will just uh, show us how to, uh, he will update us 
okay, considering uh, various important features, okay. So, 28, we'll be sending out the promotion uh, poster very soon. Terima kasih banyak-banyak and um, we really, I, I personally have learned so much from uh, NJ Rafi. Terima kasih. Thank you so much. It's okay. It's my pleasure. It's my pleasure, Prof. I'm happy. I'm happy to help, okay? Yes, thank you, thank you. See you guys again. Bye. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I can take a photo bersama-sama, everybody. Uh, can, can. <laughs> put on, put on everybody, put on everybody. Please put on your camera, everybody. We take a photo. <laughs> Please copy the attendance list before it goes offline. Uh, download the attendance list. Yeah, please download the attendance, uh, Encik Rafi. Okay. Take down the attendance, uh, please. Uh, because uh, we're giving IDP points for everybody who participated today. Okay. All right, okay. later we share with you the attendance list. Yes, yes, yes. Are you able to bring everybody together? Uh, the one we need to, if uh, all the lecture can open, then you can see lah. Now only one, two, three, four, four lecture open the camera. Oh, <laughs> okay, okay, okay. But it's okay lah. Hopefully you. you enjoy the session. Hopefully you yes, enjoy the session. Yes, we do, we do. Terima kasih banyak-banyak. Thank you, thank you. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.